Okay, so we're in chapter two of our end here tutorial. And what we're going to be doing right now is to convert all of the polygon here that we have here into curves. These curves are going to be created into end here. So we're going to go into modify and then we're going to go down to convert and then we're going to go to polygon edges to curves and we're going to click the option box. All right, so we have this option box here. Let me just move it around just a little bit out of the way. All right, so we're going to reset everything. All right, and as we reset, you'll notice that we have different forms. Open, periodic, best guess. We're going to be using best guess. Uh, as for degree, um, we have various degrees. We have one, two, three, five, and seven. For this, I think I'm going to be using five. Five seems to be working quite nicely for me. And with the hair selected, I'm going to click that button right there, which is isolate, selected. And now we can work from there. Okay, now before we do anything, there is one little thing that I need to do. You see the beginning area that we have here? I actually want to make that a little smaller. I'm not liking how it's extending outwards there. All right, so... Let me just adjust that. All right. Um, hmm, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'll turn on symmetry uh, and on X. And let's see what else. Hmm. Let's see, preserve seam. No, no, no. I got it. I'll turn off soft selection. I don't think I'll need soft selection for this. All right. Okay, so I'm going to just use my scale tool. The first things first, I'm going to select the edge that I want. Yeah, that one's fine. All right, and I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing for the one that's right above it. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think we can work with that. All right. Awesome. Okay, so with that done, I think the next thing that we are going to be doing is... Oh wait, there is one thing that I wanted to show you all. Now if you notice that I have symmetry still turned on, and this is one of the errors or one of the problems that you're going to run into. If you have symmetry turned on, and let's say we select one edge like this, all right, and we hit apply, you'll notice that it doesn't happen on both sides. It's it just doesn't work that way. So what we're going to do is we're just, just going to turn off our symmetry right here. Okay. And then we're going to go back in and create some curves. So with that curve selected, I'm going to hit apply, not convert. All right. Now, of course, the shortcut for this one is actually Y, but for this tutorial, we're just going to hit apply. All right. But let's say, for instance, um you want to adjust the different degrees you can keep that open and let's say you want some of them to be uh, a degree of five or maybe you want some of them to be a degree of three or if you want some of them to be a degree of one maybe seven i would suggest keeping that box open but for this tutorial let's keep it open and let's keep it in apply while i go about working on this here all right so while I'm working on this, let me uh, explain a couple of things that we're going to be doing uh, in the other chapters. All right, now for some of these curves, even though we're creating the edges into curves, all right, there is going to be something that is going to be happening, whereas in some of the curves, their direction is going to be different. Well, what, I'm, what do I mean by different? All right. Let's say some of the curves are going to start from the beginning to the end. Well, some of the other curves might be from the end to the beginning. All right. That is going to happen during this process. Now, sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it does. All right. In the next chapter, we're actually going to be showing you how to sort that out. So let me just continue working on this. And... Let me just get everything out of the way here. I think we're almost done with this one. All right, so I figured I'd just give you all a heads up. So just in case you complete it and for whatever reason you're going to um, uh, 
curve editing mode and you see some of the curves in a different direction, you know why. All right. Now, of course, we'll be showing you how to fix that. All right. I think I am done here. Just go to front view. Right. Yeah, I think we got what we need. All right. So we have those curves. Right. But before we do that, oh, I don't like how that end is looking. So let's kind of style this a little bit. Right. One. And one more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that looks good. So that end will just be pulling out just like that to give it that nice look. And I think what we can do now is mirror. Let me turn that off for a second. And we could also mirror that. Before we do, let's put this in its own layer. Keep everything nice and organized. All right. Uh, I'm going to call this layer. Uh, let's see. Ah, hair curves. Yeah. That sounds like one. A good name. All right. I'm going to give it a nice bright color. So we can easily make that out. Turn off isolate. And let's delete that curve. I don't think we need that curve anymore. All right. Okay. So, of course, we want to move that curve over to the other one. Right. So we can match what we have on the left over to the right. All right. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to select all of these. Right. I'm going to duplicate that and right in scale X, we're just going to turn that change the value to the negative one. And hit enter. And there you go. That easy. All right. So I think we have what we need. The, as you can see, once a curve is created, the Pivot is all the way down to the, end, about the center of your grid. Right. So I think everything looks fine there. Oh, hmm. there's something that well, I guess we'll do, do the rest. Before we do the rest, something is not looking right here. I just noticed it. And what I'm going to want to do at this point is edit those curves just a little better. But instead of having to select each of them, I'm just going to actually remove sure what I'm talking about. And this is how that curve is actually going off into directly into the woogie or wuzzle on a hair. That's not right. We need to line that up a little better. So instead of selecting each of those curves individually, I think one of the quickest ways we can do that is to just create a lattice. So let's do just that. Where is my lattice? Nope. Oh, let's see. Where are you? Um, let's see where you go. Right, I'm gonna just go up to the form. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I did not put it on our curves shelf. Right, but I think we can work with it from here. I'm gonna change the values to about five. Five should be more than enough. And uh, let's just go to lattice point and let's just edit this a little bit here. I just need to get it neatly aligned. So let me just move this around a little bit so I can align everything just right. Everything looks good there. 
this around a little bit. And, hmm, yeah, a little too not gonna work here. All right, uh, let's keep moving this around a little bit. It looks good, I guess. I think we can work with that. All right. So all I did was just come out of component mode. And I'm going to select those curves and delete the history on that. Okay, I think we got what we need there. All right, so what I'm going to do is just delete that side and we'll just duplicate and merge the transforms again. All right, so I'm going to select that, duplicate, go back again, scale x negative 1. And okay, I think we got what we need for that. So basically, the front banks, and by front banks, I mean the center banks and the raven banks, we're going to be using the same process for those. So at this point, I'm going to just fast forward, do those, and I'll see you in the next chapter.